what's up? Don't worry, bro. See ya. You wanna eat here? I thought this would be a uh, case and joint. Seabird? Fuck it, why not? Yeah, like, uh, you're, you're, you've always been a nice guy. Well, thanks. <laughs> I mean, like, when I was, like, you know, like, really into, like, my collab channel, SDK, and we were doing all these shows, and, like, the whole demographic was, you know, young girls, and I was never as into, like, the whole, like, oh my gosh, ha! So, like, people thought I was mean. Right. No, see, that's... like, that's how people interact. And, like, no, I was yeah. never mean, I just didn't like fake anything the crazy thing is people think see to me that's so obviously overdone right it's like this is so it doesn't even look right it looks stupid but I think a lot of people think that's like a nice guy but to me you look just like an idiot yeah I mean it's not authentic you know when I all right so like yo I uh, I low-key fan out like like I'm somebody who look if I meet a celebrity I'm like Oh shit. Who have you met that it got, it got wild? All right, I think I blacked out when I met Tyler, the creator. Yeah? I think I, that whole experience, bro, like, that was like my idol in high school. Wait, did so, you meet like, him at a concert? I, I waited in line for like hours uh, before his New York show. He did a pop-up shop. No, he didn't, it wasn't a pop-up, it was a pop-up movie and Q&A. So he watched a movie like with his fans before his show. And we watched Zoolander. And uh, he like met like the first hundred people in line. And, and Tyler's, uh, Tyler's actually a nice guy. Yeah, he's super nice. A, no, see, this is what I think also. This is another, like, misconception. A lot of these, like, rash people are actually nice guys. They just don't have sensitivity for bullshit. Exactly. That's the big thing. Because, like, I, even Kanye West is, like, I think he's a nice guy. Good intentions. Good intentions. Sure. Good heart. But... It's not doing the bullshit, you know what I'm saying? No, and I don't fuck with bullshit in any sense of the word because I'm not somebody who reacts well to positive reinforcement. Like, something bad happens and then someone's like, yo man, don't worry, it's gonna be okay. No, like- Yeah, I don't like that either. Be like, dude, suck it the fuck up, yeah, get, work yeah, hard, yeah, 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 yeah. and that's it. And a lot of people do not respond to that. They think it's yeah. mean and rude and that we all need to be caring all the time. And of course there are certain situations where that's necessary, but yeah. I respond way more to harsh criticism that, than honesty. That's what I'm saying is like, I feel like the world got very soft, you know, it got very soft. And I always tell my employees, I always tell like, even like clients is like, they complain, oh, you didn't do this. I don't like, bro, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do, bro. Like you gotta get it up. Nobody, nobody cares. Like you, know, Vaynerchuk, Gary V always talks about this. I think he's, a, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk. No, isn't Vaynerchuk a hockey player? He might be. I'm not into hockey. No, this the hockey. I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> but I'll say this. He's a good dude. And I think he's got a good head. Um, and so he's saying he's like, he's like, you know, people want to complain about, you know, I'm a minority. I'm, uh, you know, life is hard. I'm this. I'm that. But it's like, you're right. But no one cares. That's the big part. I'm saying you have like, you have a point. I'm saying life, life's not fair. I'm saying the re the fact that people think life should be fair is already kind of questionable, but it isn't fair. And also, the universe owes you nothing. That's what I'm saying. People feel entitled to a lot of shit that yeah. they do not deserve. I mean, it's a lot of this new millennial shit too. Here. We're all put into these uh, unique situations financially, whatever it may be. Yeah. And some people are gonna have to work a lot harder than others. Yeah. Um, some people could also argue that pain and suffering is good for you. Right. It yeah. teaches yeah. morals. I mean, permit for what? What's this, bro? Chill. That's no, chill. Put up a sign, advertising, in motion. Okay. Speak. Have a good day. Let the people hear. Right. It's All a right. city. I've never day. sleep. Have a good okay, day. man. All right. All right. Respect. All right. Okay. If I'm in your constabulary, have a good Hall day. of Fame, I have respect you. Okay. Word? That's a nice word, no? Get That's a good phone. word. <laughs> I like that fucking word, I keep it real. Can someone no. in the comments define <laughs> constabulary? <laughs> hey, Al. Okay? I got you. Chill. I got you. Okay? I got you, bro. Whether you're in Chicago or whether you're not, okay? Whether you're Chicago or whether you're not, okay? These are like, he's spitting memes. I'm gonna keep it bug. Like, these are memes. Like, I'm gonna have to keep this in just for the meme. That was meme awesome. alert. 
No, but the thing is, for the, all that happened was the person running the camera right now went like this to walk behind the camera, <laughs> and he flipped the fuck out. Oh, like, you got a permit? Right. You got a fucking permit? Right. I didn't even know you did that. I just thought you just wanted to spaz <laughs> just for the feel, which is, I get it. But, you know, whatever. But definitely keep it in video, you know what I'm saying? I have no idea what we were talking about before this. No, but it's, it would be funny if he, like, actually, like, went, like, he actually took down the video. Like, I don't blur his face. Like, he's all in. But, um, no, no, but I was saying, it's like, yeah, people basically just got solved, bro. And it's like, it's, um, it's just, nobody, yeah, the, like you said, the universe doesn't owe you anything. Nobody cares. Um, and don't get me wrong, like, it's super unfortunate if you're born into a really bad situation, yeah. but throwing a pity party for yourself isn't going to help you, you know? That's and that's something kid. like I've had to come to terms with, like, I used to be that kid, and until people started getting real with me, and I started learning how to respond to harsh criticism, like, that was when I really started to grow up, mature, and do way more productive things yeah. in my life. No, because I remember you used to, when, I, when I met you a few years ago, you were a little more like, I don't know, like a little more wild, or... I feel like you kind of... That's what my friends call Savage Joey era. Right. I feel like you kind of uh, mellowed out. But but to me, it's not good or bad. Like, honestly, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm just like, you know, people can do what they want to do. But my only thing is that life is very consequential. You make your choices. I'm not like so, you know, I try to be a good guy. But like, you know, it seems like in this world, there's no ethics don't really matter. Really, if you want to win, you do what you got to do. But you make your own choices. You make the choices. But listen, if I want to rob a bank... You know, it's like, the risk is I'm gonna go to jail. It's cost benefit, you know? Is it worth it, you know? I'm not like so guilty, like that's more your, you're like a nice you guy. Mean, you've been thinking saying. about this a lot, huh? Robbing a bank? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm just, <laughs> that's always like my example of that <laughs> also. No, I know it's, no, but you know what I'm saying though? It's like, I don't know. I feel like guilt is holding a lot of people back because like, I got over that, but it's just, I just make my choices. It's like, is it worth this? You know, yeah. Or even guilty could be considered a cost. It's like, do I need it? Will it? Like, can I sleep at night if I do that? Or, you know, whatever. that's the idea that there's no such thing as a truly unselfish action. Like, oh, you right. give to charity. Yeah. That's sick. But did you only give to charity because you would have felt yeah. guilty? No, that's one of my big it? things. Is like everyone's selfish. You know, I don't know. I'm sorry. I just took philosophy, yeah. and now I think about shit like that. No, no, no. I was just saying. No, I see. I was in a school <laughs> like that for three years ago. Like, this is all we did. Like, we just bump heads all day. Like, go at it. I don't know. If, I don't know if that class is like that, but that was whatever. So I've, oh, I've been for sure, I loved it though. It's so much fun. Yeah. Um, so some of my friends, we still like go at it like that. But I'm saying you're, so you're, you're back in school. That's what you're saying. Yeah, I'm back in school. I'm just at county right now. I'm gonna transfer um, at the end of uh, in like a semester or two. And uh, I'm actually hoping to go to my top three schools are uh, UCLA, Columbia, and USC. Um, I've always wanted to go Ivy League, like I would incur the debt to go to an Ivy League school. But I also realized that if I want to pay for school, I'm probably going to have to do YouTube and stuff, so why not be in LA and do school, so yeah, see where it goes. That's, that's a move. You said you're planning on doing this year because you're only a sophomore, right? Yeah, but um, I don't have to finish at the school, like I can transfer whenever, so hopefully I would start next fall. Um, whoever I transfer to. Right. I'm sporting a sexy fucking 392 GPA though, right. so. Oh, that's pretty good. Listen, <laughs> and you're with it. Yeah, man. Whatever. Yeah, no, LA is, I definitely gotta go back. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no LA is, um, I definitely gotta go back to LA. That's, there's a lot of stuff there, but you say YouTube wise, what is, because I, I saw you stop doing a lot of the prank stuff, you head more towards music. Are you taking the music seriously? Where are you at with that? Bro, I take the music super seriously. Um, I only got like two or three songs out right now. Um, I still want to do like the man I heard on the one street. of them. What's the, what's the pinned one? I heard that one. The what one? You have one as a pinned tweet on Twitter, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's called Darkness. That one's yeah, cool. Yeah, that was nice. Um, another one called Back to You that like has more. Uh, I guess attention, but um, I really like it, you know, I've been playing uh, piano, I come from a long line of piano players, like my grandfather used to play for Tony Bennett, right. like, um, he played for uh, Diana Ross, I think, he was in the war, and he would play for the troops, and when, you know, they would have entertainers coming up to play with all these celebrities who would sing for the troops, and... Um, I picked up piano really easily. I've only been playing since I was a junior in high school, and 
then I taught myself guitar and ukulele, and I've been doing the beatboxing for a while. And right. Like, I don't know. I never. You still on like, that? Cause you you. I feel like you slowed down on that. What? The beatbox used to be like oh, everywhere yeah. is like. Well, beatboxing, beatboxing was how I got my start on YouTube. Right. Um, it used to be like an avid, like an academic. You know what I'm saying? It was like. I still. Yeah, beatboxing like okay, you know. What I, mean? <laughs> I still do it. I mean, like, I don't know. It's just. It's work it. I'm not. I haven't learned anything. You new. beatbox now? Like my like my routine is like the same as it's been for. I want to hear it again. Years. I want to hear. <clears throat> not the whole thing. Gosh. Um. I'm trying to think what I should do. <clears throat> Oh, that's pretty serious. That's a little bit. Um, um yeah, so you said Yeah, the music, um how how serious are you taking that? Like do you have a like a manager already? Like what do you what are well, you doing with that? I have my manager, shout out to Byron. Alright. Who uh he's been like my YouTube manager since day one, like I actually got signed to my network. I won a contest on youNow.com. It was like win a contract with Big Frame, and that was like the YouTube network I was. Dying What's with these networks? With. I don't. I don't know that bit. Like, is it? Why do you? Why would you do a network? Why? Uh, they help bring you deals, negotiate deals with brands, and um, kind of like they are able to directly communicate with YouTube if you ever have a problem. So, like, right. for example, like, like my song I have out now. I wanted to be able to make a, a list of people that can use my music for free, like my friends, and then anyone else who uses it, I can just cop their AdSense and leave it up. That's like a pretty specific request for a song uh, that you can't do just on the YouTube app. I think so, you could do that on TuneCore, no? You can only whitelist one channel. I, I asked them, because I, I use TuneCore. Yeah. Um, but, no, they're great when it comes to like the events, and I mean like they booked like our whole tour for us, and just take care of us. Good people. If you want the bread, you gotta be a nice guy. I gotta learn from you. I'm saying I used kind of like it, like uh, I don't know. Sometimes I think it's the opposite. I think if you want the bread, you kind of have to be a dickhead. Sometimes. Okay, well this That's is why I think okay, I'm no, so no, poor. No, you gotta, you gotta, right? Okay, no, listen. Um, there's I hate this word, but you have a balance, and it's I like it much worse. Yeah, no, no, because it's just like you know, like you'll say anything, and someone will be like. You need a balance, like drugs and this. You know, like uh, people say, "Oh, I'm gonna do drugs." You do it. moderate. Moderation is another one. Yeah. I'm saying, you know, it makes sense. It's just a word that, like, I feel like idiots throw around. Whatever. Anyways, the point is that, yeah, like you, you have to have a backbone. I'm saying, I don't consider that to be a nice guy. Almost a backbone. That's like kind of like a pussy. To be honest with you. I, you know, I'm saying, like some, some people's like, you'd walk all over him. That's not a nice guy. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like Tyler is a nice guy. Like, saying, yeah. Yeah. So to me, because. What we said about being selfish, you're most probably doing it because you're a pussy, right? You're not doing it for altruistic intentions, you're doing it because you, you... A lot of people can't own their thing. Like, if you look at a lot of, like, winners in life, they're not Kanye, for example, or even Trump. I really don't want to talk about it, whatever. So, I'm saying, even a guy like that, it's like, he's down to be Trump or Kanye. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like they, he could, like, he's not afraid of people saying you're an asshole because he could be that guy. And that's such a big thing to me about but just like being a confident guy. So you gotta be able to own your thing, you know, and not be afraid to offend or whatever. So, yeah, so you're saying you're doing music. You doing have music. this guy Byron is like your, your boy, or like he's like a, a big hotshot. What's, what's the <laughs> Byron's got a fresh car. Uh, no, he's just he's What's my the car? We, we talked stats here. What's the car? Oh, damn, he's got this like 2016 Benz. It's white. It's so clean. It's nice. I remember like the first time I got in it, I was out in LA for something. I was like, he walked up to it because he had a different car before. I was like, what, so the, in LA. So what the fuck is this, Byron? <laughs> you stepped your shit up. <laughs> no, is, um, it like, is it like a serious... Uh... No, I mean, I, yo, I don't know what his situation is. Like, I'm, I'm teasing. Like, he, uh, I was his first client ever at Big Frame and I had like 5,000 subscribers when uh, I got signed because I won that competition you know I was nobody um, still nobody but you know I know but you see too nice you're too nice so I, going I know some street. somebody's though so to me it's some yeah. nobody um, oh, I see you I see you with um, you with Rebecca Black a lot what's going on with that <coughs> bro this is really spicy the sauce and it got yeah. my <clears throat> anyway, I just thought I choked you up because it's a tough question. I didn't want to like touch it. Yeah. <laughs> Rebecca, Rebecca and I met like three years ago. She's like one of my best friends. We talk like it every day. Yeah. Um, she's kind of she's low key popping. Like a lot of people, like 
people who are not YouTube people, I'm saying they might be like, oh, she's like, yeah, she's old school, but she's like, she's got a fan base though. Like, she's popping. Yeah, yo, because first of all, like, she can sing for real. Yeah, no. Don't I, get me fun. wrong. We were talking in the car about uh, how, like, people made fun of Baby, but Baby was like a fucking, by Justin Bieber, like, like that was a smash. Yeah. Friday was a fucking smash, dude. No, no, we were just playing Friday. It's, it's one of those, though, honestly. But she gets shit on that. For, for that the, song. I, the, yeah, because the lyrics are a little stupid, though. She didn't Yesterday write it. Yesterday was Thursday. No, that's what I'm saying. No, yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. But now, yo, her shit is, is hot. It's good. Yeah, no. Yeah, but, you know, she's, she's a homie. I saw her for the first time in, like, a year and a half because she's never in New York. I'm never in L.A. Um, but... I just saw on the breakfast look, too. She just killed... You saw that? Right, right yeah. That was so cool. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, a question for you. So, like... No. And this, like, friendship, like, you've always been the businessman. Right. And... Something I go back and forth with is like with music, like my manager and like some of my friends, are like why don't you like promote your music more? And to me, I think I have enough followers, not a lot, but you know enough that if it's if it's really a dope song, it'll get passed around by itself. Like I don't think I need to do that. And a lot of people who are more like business heavy are like, no, nah, that's stupid. Like, yeah. you know, like how how do you think I should brand myself? See, as that's what I'm saying. It's always this, see, you're 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 a nice guy, and it's like you, it's integrity. You know what I'm saying? It's it comes back to that. It's like you're you're like a real nice like guy. So like, I understand. Like, you know. I don't know, like I used to be like that too, like when I was doing music, like I didn't want to post my shit, I'm like people should just like it, because it is corny a little like to like self like promote it in a way, you know what I'm saying, like hey guys check, you know it's like you don't want to be that guy. Smash that like yeah, button. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I'm not, listen, we're not hated though, but the thing is like, yeah bro, but I'm saying, honestly I just think it comes down to, you know, some, some people don't do that though, like I feel like when you're really popping, like Drake doesn't do that, Drake puts his shit on Twitter, new song, boom, check it out. You're gonna check it out, I'm saying, but he, but you need that type of brand. I'm telling you, it's that you're one of those guys on YouTube that have like a serious following. Like, how, you got like over a hundred thousand on Twitter, right? Yeah. Saying you got all the chicks, you pop, bro. I bought all those followers. Though, no, dude. you didn't. I see the engagement. You, you pop, bro. I bought all those fucking followers. But this is what I was saying buy before. Buy Twitterfollowers.com. Buy YouTube. You're, you're, you're. I always call you Pretty Vitali. I'm saying the first time I met you, the first time I'm gonna be Pretty Boy Vitali. But you don't, you know, what I'm saying that's like. You don't want to go that way. I'm telling you, the sex sells. That's sells, the funniest bro. fucking comparison I've ever heard. I don't know why. Like, pretty boy Vitaly. <laughs> no, cause like even the hair is like old school Vitaly, you know? I guess I don't know. No, cause you used to do like the spiked hair, but now you're really going for it. I think you should just. I don't know. Bro. I think I should just start doing pranks. Why not? You I can, think you I should probably just get, get a some Lambo, just that. pull up and just like, be like, hey, like want to leave your boyfriend in my Lambo? Yeah. That's what Vitaly is to me. Yeah. yeah. A Lambo. Uh, Still stole your girl Lambo guy. That's yeah, dude. But, um, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know, bro. Music, music is like it's an interesting thing. Like, I might start like a label. You know, something like I'm thinking about starting like a, an actual label, like in, like one of these independent um, moves because the, the industry is so open now because it moved to streaming. So you could actually team up with some people, start your own thing, find someone, and just pop. That's that's actually what I'm trying to do. But. But yeah, bro, it's like, it's like if I was telling someone how to do music right now, it's like, uh, promotion-wise, like, I mean, you don't, you don't really have any videos, right? Like music videos? Yeah. Nah. You gotta have a video with the girl. You gotta, you gotta have one of those, bro. But you're too yeah. nice, but you gotta... Well, I mean, it's not that you, I you don't want to. Right now? you have a six-pack right now? Do you have a six-pack? Fuck no. Alright, no, no. No, no, I'm saying you don't even have to go, like, all the way there, but... But I'm saying your songs are about girls anyway. Do you have, you, you have a music video coming up, right? Music like, video? You must have something like in the works, right? No, dude. I, man, I'm in school like Monday through Thursday all day, and I work like 16 hours a week at this company, and like I have the weekends off, but like I just don't have a lot of time for that. Like, whenever I'm, yo, my music is all done in my room. I bought, I saved up. I bought this like thousand dollar microphone. It's really nice. Um, I record everything in my room and I just send it off to kids who know what they're doing to get mix and mastered. Yeah. Like, so a lot of my music is done like when I'm done with my shit and like from like 10 to like 2 a.m. and then I just don't sleep the next day. Like snort a bunch of but fucking that, Adderall, right. go to school. No, but that's, 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 that's fine, again. that's fine. But I'm saying like, it's so visual now the world. It's like, to not have a video, 
and you can't even really go like the mysterious route because people know you anyway so it's kind of like you know i don't know like if you need i might i might have to invest in your shit bro and keep it real i might have to put up the bread you have to do something yeah you might have to i might have to put up the <laughs> cake <laughs> no because i think you could pop but we have to work out a strategy but i'm saying it's like there's so there's a lot of bread right now in the industry but i'm saying if you need me to put in a phone call to one of these guys it's it's one two three for me it's i don't not have to yo, i keep telling people i'm like yo fuck this whole like Yo, I'm gonna stay independent. Fuck that. If a label came up to me and was like, yo, uh, you here's a bunch quick. of money, yeah, I'd be like, dude, I'll be One Direction. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you want. I'm so poor, dude. You wouldn't do that, though. I can't even flex, like, I got, like, this watch is from Aldo. How much like, How much money do you need? Right now? Yeah. If you pick up the fries, like, I'm good. No, like, how much? Get the fuck out of here. How much do you need? <laughs> I'll give you right now. Fuck it. No, we're good, man. Okay. I'm saying. I can't like, take money from you. You're my like boy. That. I'm saying, like. <laughs> but yeah, but. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, I'm like... It's funny, though, right? Like, I drive a Prius. I talk about how poor I am. Like, I'm like, real, I'm like anti-hip-hop culture. But you're not afraid that realness is going to hurt you, though? Guns. What? You don't feel like you're too real? Because it's so sick, because, like, fake it till you make it is still, like, a thing, almost. Like, it still exists, but even though people are, like... It's realer, in a way, but it's, it's still, like, the same core psychology, I guess. Like, people still buy into what's popping, you know, whatever, you know? I, the way I look at it is... And this is, like... We were talking earlier about like, my video with Joe Santagato. This is like the core of like what I think we were talking about. There's, you can fake it till you make it, and like you can follow the path of doing what's popping, following trends, and you're gonna probably do well. Yeah. Or you can take the much more difficult and very risky path of trying something new. This is Frost. This is uh, the Rolex, Rolex Trap. Yeah. And. That's what, I'm, OG. that's what I'm going for. And like I said, like I went back to school because this is a fucking scary road. And you know me, like you know, I've always tell you, like, I like school. Right, right, right. But, oh man, like I'm like, I don't even know what genre my music is. Like, I don't know. I just. No, but it sounds good. But I'm saying, that's what I was saying about how you have like a real fan base. Because it's like, there's only so many guys that can get in from the trend. You know, you have the one guy. Oh, I'd say like. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna say. When, I really don't want. I've got to go with the names, but oh, Vitaly started basically YouTube pranks. Let's be real. He was the first guy. The Gold Digger prank, social experiments. Nah, PVP was up there pretty early. BF, BF versus GF, Jesse and Gina. Yeah, but that was the boy. They were early dynamic, too. But not like, dude. The Gold Digger prank is basically from him. Let's be real. That's and how many people have that has come up off that prank? The hood pranks, basically from him, right? Even like the zombie, whatever. Even like the homeless vibe where you do that for sympathy, that's his bit, that's, it's all his thing. But I'm saying a lot of people copied him and some got in, but it's like now if you want to do that, you can't do that anymore because the market was like, you know. Well, that's what made me condenses. so like, I've been talking about it a lot like in like, like on YouTube or interviews or whatever, like, I just don't feel good about myself like thinking that I got in off like a trend, you know, like even if like I was good at networking and that's, why it happened or I got lucky, like, that doesn't right. matter. It just, I don't know. Like, when you get out into the real world, also you learn, like, followers don't mean anything. Like, like they don't make you feel good about yourself. Like, it's not like, I don't yeah. find any, like, self-value in, like, having 100,000 Twitter followers. Like, right. But, like, I do, I do, like, think it's awesome that, like, a, a song of mine, like something I worked so hard on, right. like got a lot of attention. Yeah. That's super cool. Like that's what I want, you know. But that's, that's when people are like, "Oh, like you're done." Like, like they think I'm like shitting on like YouTubers and famous people. Yeah. I'm like, look, it's not like it's not like I don't want to be famous because saying that would mean I don't want people to enjoy the work I'm doing, you know. But like, you want to be famous for something that you like yourself. Yeah, no. At the end, honestly, at the end of the day. I don't want to get too philosophical, but people basically, a big thing, even with fame, I think, honestly, they want money to feel important. That's kind of what people want. They want, to feel, they want to be happy, but they want to feel important is one of the biggest ways to do that. So, that's just what it is. So people, and I always find it funny that people be like, man, fuck, fuck fame, I want money, right? Because at the end of the day, you want, why do you want money, right? There's only so much money you need to live. I'm saying like, I'm saying, I, I'm saying, you need, you need money, so you need money, but I'm saying, you, there's there are people that will say like man I, I wish I could have this but you could what do people really want to do like I ask you right now what if I give you a billion dollars oh sick what would you do every day 
more than a billion, a hundred billion, all the money in the world, what would you do? I'd give it all away. No, you're too nice. What would you, I'm saying your lifestyle, look, what would it look, be day to day? Look, do you know why? It's too nice. How do I say this? No, man, like, as like, I don't know how I want to board this. You look at someone like, like Bill Gates, right? Richest man in the world. Go, the go, yeah. What he's doing is, other than the fact that he changed the world via technology, he's like cured malaria. I mean, he, uh, what he's done for education, like he was like the initial like big investor in Khan Academy, and that's huge and it's helped people everywhere. I, money is power, so. That's when people are like, oh, like, would you drop out of school to do music? I'm like, yeah, I, I would go back because I like it, but no, no. But this is what I was saying. I'm gonna cut you off, but that's the point. Money is power, and fame is power. It's the same thing. People want to be important. Bro, this election, having the voice that I have on Twitter, has has been so valuable to me, just personally, because I'm very scared for our country's future. I know we don't. We're not gonna talk about politics. I don't intend on it. I'm just saying, like. That's part of the power with fame, is having people who will listen to you. Think about it. If you have 200 Twitter followers, that's a lot. Like, when are you ever speaking in front of 200 people? No, no, I want to get into that. I think people lost perspective on a lot of, if you have 5,000 yeah, YouTube 5, views. Oh my God. Dude, let me explain something. 40,000 views is 40,000 people. That's a, that's a baseball stadium. Can you imagine if you say if you sing the national anthem at a baseball? That's forty thousand. I'm saying great, and not everyone's engaging, but still, that's a ridiculous. People lost perspective because like the big pop stars have so many hundred millions of views. It's like, oh, I need that because that's the point. It comes down to I need that power. I need. What I was saying is that I, I think if you gave me a billion dollars, I would still just want to do the same thing. I don't want to hang on my friends. That's what people want to do. Think about it. When people get off work, most people on Sundays, they just watch football with their friends when it's football season. I mean, that's all people want to do when they don't have to work. What would you do with a billion dollars? What would you do? It's the same thing. I would travel a lot. That's the thing. People people like traveling. I'm not, I travel a lot for work. I don't, I, some people into like the plane ride. I find it like the airport a little bit messy, but you know, like, yeah, I like seeing different places. Definitely. Traveling is nice. Traveling. Now that I'm 22, getting drunk for a long plane ride, yeah. way better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Planes are not as bad anymore. And also like, like, yeah, first class and like business class, it's a bigger deal too. The leg room is impossible. Especially when you go overseas, those long flights are uh, a disaster. I've never been overseas, dude. I've been to Toronto, that's it. Yeah, you gotta go overseas, come on. That's why I wanna travel so bad. I mean, you I've gotta been go. nowhere. You said you, you, you still never been to Miami though? Is that, is that real? I've never been to Miami, man. I've been to Orlando. Bro, we gotta go to Miami. You gotta hit the clubs, we gotta do it right. Bro, you gotta have one it. of those Birdman, you know, with the bottles, you gotta do it. Bro, I'm single for the first time in like six years, so like, we can go to Miami and hit You were in that for a long time. Yeah. That was a long time, bro. Yeah, man. Um, you haven't been having any fries, and I feel kind of yeah, bad. Yeah. No, I'm just on a diet, I'm trying to watch my thing. Okay. I'm trying to look extra pretty for the... <laughs> no, because, yeah, no, it's about to get very serious, but the point is like... Um, yeah, bro, that's just it, basically. It's like, it's, um, people, people have lost perspective and feel a little bit. And what I was saying, I was tying it in, is that you were talking about the road less taken is, like, not climbing trends, but I honestly think, bro, that is, a, usually, usually that's the long-term payoff. If you could get that going, it's that's a big That's the point deal. I was going to make. So, like, I use, um, like Tyler the Creator is a really good example of this. Like when he came into the game, like spitting bars about like rape and murder and like, all this horrible stuff, and it was like this like really dark. Like it was like uncharted territory for hip hop. I mean, it was. I feel like it was Emin what Eminem used to do, but yeah, for right yeah, now it was. But more, honestly, it felt way more. But that. But that's aggressive. What, that's, that's another thing. That's what I think is like when you do shit like that, you get a cult following. I've heard a lot of people describe your thing as like a cult following because. This is, the, this is the way I look at it. When you're nice, when you're for the people and you're just, you get the masses, right? But you usually don't get that like brand loyalty and, and that like, you know, that people really love. But then when you're really like different and you're and you're like aggressive, you, you might not reach as many people, but those people love you more. Yeah. And that's what's so amazing about a guy like Kanye and Drake, especially Kanye, I feel like he's so aggressive, but he's still so pop. 
So he's got both. Bro, Chance the Rapper is like the it's ultimate incredible. like boundary breaker in hip hop. Like, no, what he's doing with the music thing is amazing. Yo, he's the new Kanye. Like when yeah. Kanye was coming up, like the sound was so different. Chance's sound is yeah, no, so no, no. different. I actually really liked um, Color Book. I thought it was really good. Really? Yeah, I did too. I loved it. I mean, Acid Rap though still has a very special place in my heart. I was a good one. I remember when that came out. Um, but, and also, yo, he's like my new role model. Like what he does for his community. He's a good guy. Like Chance gives back so much. Yeah. And the, the greatest, the, the GOATs find that line where they have that like cult following and they go pop. And the only guys in music right now that did that, Drake and Kanye West, bro. Drake and Kanye. Chance is gonna get there. Jay's, honestly, Jay's, yeah, Drake and Kanye West, really, right now. Chance will get there. If Gambino wanted to. Chance needs a hit, though. Not to be fair, Gambino, 2005 was a hit. That was a good, that was pretty good. You say what you do. That was yeah. a big song. <laughs> that, was, that was a very big song. No. Yo, honestly, no problem's a fucking hit, too, now. It's a pretty good Chance song. Chance has a no, big no, song. See, the problem is, though, is that the industry's still run by the executives. I know, like, key, key people at different labels, so I have these conversations all the time. But Chance, like you said, is really breaking down those barriers. And I honestly, I mean, right now you still need a hit because radio still matters. But maybe, I think in five, ten years, it's over for radio. It's over. And, I, and that's what I was saying about the YouTube people is, who's going to be the first YouTuber to spin move into Hollywood? Because I always say, I tell you this all the time, I tell a lot of my clients, just people, just you know, I feel like YouTube as a brand, the association of YouTube is that it's, it's like minor league ball compared to the major leagues of Hollywood. Do you know what I'm saying? I agree. It's like, it's such a barrier and it's so hard to cross over into that. So you could be popping on YouTube and have that fan base, but a lot of YouTubers want to be Hollywood. But a lot of Hollywood guys might want that YouTube, you know, cult thing. And that's, Bro, that's kind of the same conversation. Connor Franta, I don't know if you know him, YouTuber, raised more money than Zac Efron. Like, the following no, 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 is no, no, way no, different, no, no, he's different. there, you know? But that's always a big challenge. And now, you know, you see FouseyTuber, like some of these guys do movies, but that's like ensemble little little thing. I'm talking about like, I honestly think Vitaly could be Schwarzenegger in five, 10 years. Yeah, can he act? But Schwarzenegger doesn't act. He has guns yeah, and Yeah, but he was up. also like, uh, what was his title? The, the bodybuilding title. No, he was a... Uh, it's a Terminator, no? No, but he was like a bodybuilding like champion. Okay, but Vitaly is... That is, was is, like his like whole brand. Vitaly's like not but like... But Vitaly's in that pocket kind of though. He's in shape. Right? He's got balls. But he's not like a bodybuilder. No, but I, Vitaly even said he started doing movies. He started doing YouTube as like an audition for his movies, which I thought was a great, it was great. It was yeah. a really good move. I didn't know he was into acting. Right. No, I, I don't, I don't, no, he always said he wanted to do action movies. I'm not saying he's going to be Al Pacino. I'm saying like... No, but, that's sick though. I mean, good for him. Why can't someone spin in there? And I, I'm always convincing, but a lot of people are like into their ad money and they want to stay what they know, but I'm telling these guys, I'm like, that's what I'm, I'm telling you too, is like, gotta spin out of YouTube, and I'm trying to come up with the best way to help some of my YouTube friends, you know? Yeah, I mean, for me, it's musical. Like, I've told you, like, I'm not an actor, like, right. I'm a garbage actor, like, I, uh, I'm good with, like, public stuff, because I don't care what other people think of me, which is all, all a public video really takes, is to just right. be able to make somebody, like, feel bad, and, like, How you, you can put yourself out there. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, like, like I know Joe gets offers all the time for like bigger and better things, but he's just like, I'm killing it on YouTube. Right. Like, why would I throw that away now and focus? Like, and I, I, I think there's a valid point. Like, there, I mean, I there's hear so it. much into digital media right now. Yeah, TV is dying off. You know, it's what's yeah. No, I mean, you have to be smart about it. Obviously, you don't want to jump out the window, but. You know, you gotta come up with the, that's what it is, you gotta come up with the right strategy. Yeah. What's he up to, Joe? He's not at Elite Daily anymore, right? Nah, he's gone for like years. Oh, yeah. I feel like I have... He, he also, I think he could be like one of, girls like him too, he's like, to me, he's got it. He's oh got no, it. he's gonna be the one who goes... Who no, no, goes. he's definitely got an, enough, uh, he's got it. He's when got you it. said who's gonna be the one, I was like, oh, it's gonna yeah, be Joe. Yeah, Joe, yeah, he's, cause he's, I see already, he's, on Facebook he's huge. He said, he said he's a new Facebook guy, he's huge on Facebook. He's, he corners that market, he's so popping over there. And yo, he's another example, he's like the Tyler, right? It was like, Tyler came in, did something that no one was doing. There was no, like, like, cool male vlogger for older people. Until Joe came in, so yeah, like no, no, no. he definitely. Yeah, I'm saying we were like listen, 2012, I was in 12th grade. Kids put me on to that. That was a big thing. 
in my school. I was a big deal. He was like the guy. But I don't know, man. Like, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. You just gotta be smart about it. But it's interesting, though, right? Like vlogging for like I feel like the target demographics yeah. of most vloggers is for younger kids. Like 12 to 16. Yeah. Yeah, most of them. I mean, there's definitely other people. I, I, I honestly can't think of like besides maybe Joe, like. Who's like a, maybe, I also like Joseph Costello. I think he's a cool kid. But like, for the most part, there's just not, there's no like, really cool guys on YouTube, bro. That's what I was saying before, it's like. But yeah, I'll tell you, like, a lot of like, I know like, a lot of YouTubers, and they're all like, very cool people, like, <clears throat> sitting and talking to them, yeah. but. No, but when they turn on that camera, it's different. Uh, some of them turn into different people, yeah. you know? But I, I don't blame it, because it's a hustle. That's what I'm saying, like, I don't have a problem with a fake video of this, because it's, it's all just a hustle. Yo, I it's don't here, either, because, you know, they're out there driving fucking like doing it. They're doing it. Ferraris and like yeah. in these huge fucking houses, and I'm just sitting here like, okay, yeah. I'm probably fucking up by not. <laughs> yeah. Bro, yeah. where are you at right now, though? What do you mean? Like, like five years, where you want to be at? I mean, honestly, bro, like, I'm doing, I'm doing a lot. I'm really trying to work less. That's the big thing. I'm not that I work so hard. I still feel like I work less than 99% of people. And I make I make good money, but you know, I really just I want to be in five years, everything automated, just hanging out with my friends, like Entourage, literally Entourage minus the movie. <laughs> I love that show. I love that. Show. I watch it all the time because that's what, to me, that's the bro vibe. Like to me, like I said, people want to hang with their friends. What's better than that? You go out to eat with your boys, you know. Hanging with Drake and his friends? No, no, that's that'd be better. I don't know. That's why I'm trying to go for the fame too. That's why I'm doing this show now. So it's like, <coughs> no, I'm just, you know, I'm just like, I want to get in that pocket. I'm saying I, I already have, you know, but I have the money too. So I'd like to be having like monthly coffee dates with Barack. I think like him and I be great friends. Same with Leo DiCaprio. Yeah, like, yeah. I'd like us to be having. Like, Bro, a I'm nice telling you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move to LA. I mean, like full time. I'm go there a lot. I want to get a spot there. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Maybe, I don't think it's too early for the yacht. I'm trying to, do, if I live till 35, 40, I'm trying to do the yacht. I'm trying to do the yacht. I'm trying to go really. Bro, you got to get me on the yacht. Yeah, no, I'll get you on the yacht. That's what I'm saying. First day. First, I told you if you need the money, I got party. you, boy. I'm telling you, too nice. <laughs> um, yeah, no, but, but, but that's, that's kind of where I'm at. I mean, I'm still doing like, I do like, you know, a little real estate, a little stocks. I just try to diverse. I'm really getting into like like investing in apps just because it's like a passion. I kind of like technology. I think technology is unbelievable, bro. That's another thing I want to touch it. Like, bro. Holy shit, bro. Everything. A car. Even a car. A fucking car. It's sick. No, it's really sick, though. Let's be real. Like, you just driving around in a seat. It's warm now. They got the aux cord. You listen to music. It's like a home theater, but it's moving. Bro, I'm a computer science major and like. When we get into this, like, really, like, deep down, like, what's inside of a computer and how this shit works, it is, like, mind-boggling how confusing and how many things are working yeah. together at the same time. It's... It's very intricate. It's, yeah. It still impresses me. Uh, it's a lot of stuff, Even bro. though I grew up with it. And we were talking about, like, the bridge. Bro, they built the fucking bridge. I can build a bridge. I call a hundred people I know, build a bridge. I fucking build a bridge. I don't think I don't think those guys get enough credit. Like just like architects or even even the people doing it. That's a thing. Construction workers, they deserve a lot more respect. They deserve more money too, keep it real. Honestly. That's just no doubt. it's too it's not only is it hard work, it's also it's a real skill. It's a real skill, bro. Dude, absolutely. It's it's tremendous. I'm, I'm just fascinated, bro. Like the city, even the city. I'm here all the time, but the city. Times Square, bro. Look around. You ever bring someone who's not from here to Times Square? Nah, they lose it. They lose it. Because it's nuts. There's nothing like it. That's why I really don't think I can leave New York because it's like, I want. I told you, I want to be on that Southern thing a little bit, but I don't know. LA is, not, is like the bro vibe, but New York is... Oh, New York is, is way more me, man. Like, I would never want to live in LA for very long. Yeah. That's why in my head, like, if I'm going to spend time there, I'll just finish out my two, last two years of college there and like, get my like my LA done yeah try it out you know you know you're very um it doesn't interest me you're though. very like Williamsbury like what's that new spot that's popping I don't want to call you like a hipster like I don't know if nah, you but you did by saying no no no, no 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 I'm saying what's that other spot that's popping now 
afraid of pitchers. What's another spot that's popping down? That Brooklyn? guy. Brooklyn? No. Yeah, but it's uh, um, not Soho. Uh, what the? Soho's popping. No, they just renovated it. Oh, like Bushwick is like really popping. Though. There's a lot of good parties there. Like, I wanna, I might get a spot in Bushwick just for the. Fit. I'm, I'm kind of. That's the thing though. You know, I have some money. Like, I'm kind of like still grimy. Like, I like the streets. You know what I mean? There's definitely an appeal to that. There's an appeal to like. That Dude, it's like it's like going to like a gourmet hot dog restaurant and thinking I kind of want like a dirty water like street vendor hot dog. So you're not like, feeling it. You're saying you're not fucking with. No, like I like. I like we you said, like the dirty. Street I vendor? like the dirty. Oh oh, it's like, oh yeah. Adds character. There's right, something no, no, about yeah, the whole yeah, experience. Like yeah. that shitty fucking bun they give you. Yeah. No, like look at this hat. Like, look how I dress. This is like I'm a street. Not like in the rap way, but like I'm I'm. I don't know, bro. I'm I'm down. I'm of the people. That's the thing. I'm of touch the people. Touching the people. I just know. wear uh, like solid colored shirts. Unless if I have a big test, I wear a Harry Potter shirt for good luck. Right. Because I love Harry Potter. And I like to think that his magical blood flows through me during the test. I mean, JK, she's. That's a big book. It's another one. That's a major key. Honestly, you can get one of those? Bro. I'm not wearing a book, bro. You want to see me like you know how like some rappers they like they like go to like a fucking like store like a shoe store in Soho like drop like 10k on like a right, fucking right, right, right. pair of shoes. I go to fucking Orlando, go to Harry Potter World, drop like 500 on some Harry Potter candy and a fucking interactive wand that you can use in the park. You a big reader? That's how yeah. That's how I fucking. I was reading a couple books. Um, I don't know. I just I read mostly like self help stuff, but um, like what? Um, I was just reading one. one again. I mean, honestly, I like I like uh, what's his name? Um, what's the dude's name? Ryan uh, Holiday. He's okay. got a, he's got a bunch of them. He used to work in American Apparel. He's got a, like a lot of persuasion books. I like you know I like Robert Greene stuff. I think it's great. This guy, you know, what I really got into. I have some you know, Robert Greene books. Yeah, no, he's he's an animal, but um, you know Neil Strauss. I don't know if you ever into like pick up community and game. Like my friend put me onto that. Like it's not really been my thing, but. It's very crazy, bro. Like, you know, that was like a big, you know, the, the show, The Game? Like, 10, I wasn't, no. the, the book, The Game. Whatever, it's like about these, like, weirdos who, like, trying to pick up girls, and they have, like, these, like, magic tricks, and they're, you know, they're a bunch of freaks. But he, I don't know, bro, he picked up, like, a strategy, like, he used to, like, pick up a lot of hot girls. And he became, like, a player, like, one of these like, professional players who teaches, like, losers how to get chicks, or whatever. Um, but, I don't know, bro, he just put out a book. So, he had a show called... I forgot the show. Name, but and basically, he put out, he just put out a book called The Truth. And it was originally supposed to be called Game Over. Which I thought would have been a better title, honestly. Game Over, because it's the first one with the game. And it, man, he just said how like that made him like super depressed. Like he was just he was banging all the girls. He couldn't have like a, a monogamous relationship anymore. Like he had a girl, he like cheated on with the girl on her like best friend. Like that's how good he was. He had to sleep with like her best friend. But it's like, man, it like really effed up his head. And like, I don't know. It's crazy. It's crazy that like, man. It's crazy, bro. It's like you can't, you really can't buy happiness, bro. It's wild. It's the craziest thing. It's like you can't. There are some studies that say that after around 60, 70k a year, however more you earn doesn't increase your level of happiness. Which I'm telling believe. you, bro, people just want to kick with their friends. Life is, it's so, it's another thing I love. The duality is like, life is so simple and then complex, but it's also really so simple when you bring that. It's like people want food. I hang with their friends. They like girls. Like, what is it? It's just like I like pizza. Okay, let's get some. Let's get a slice. It's just like it's simple. It's it's like really the little things, and it sounds very cliche, but it's but true. No, but it's real though. Like, I don't know, man. The life's good, bro. How you uh, how you been feeling? Just regular. I've been feeling? I'm good. I'm stressed out all the time, but it's alright because things are good. Except my grading calc. You pop, no, I'm saying you pop in school though. Like, what you say, three point nine two five or something? Three nine two, yeah. You're doing it. I think I have like a B in Cal, which makes you want to like jump off of this building. Did you ever cheat in school? No. Not in this one. Like ever? Like no. was that a thing? No. I feel like in my school we all cheated. Like we all. It was like except it was like I a would culture. Get, I would get caught. Was it a big thing though in your school that kids would cheat? Yeah, people would like write on like the inside of a like vitamin water bottle. Like on like the, the the inside of the tag and like leave it empty so they could see it like through the bottle. It's like, good. No, they got shit. good like, schemes. They got good schemes. They're not. There are guys who got this down. Some people take their tests early. Um, some people. 
I, I remember that. People used to get the tests early. That's crazy. Dude, there were kids that used to, bro, they used to finish, it's like it was like a, a, a 40 minute, an hour quiz or test, whatever. It had to be. Do finish in five minutes, giving the test. No question. It was such a bullshit school. Dude, like before the, that was reviewing how to take the test, like done. Like such a douchey kid. Yo, you know? whoever walks up there first, like, you know, they finish in five minutes, like, you fucking failed that shit. Yeah. Like, you didn't do shit. Yeah, yeah. No, it's no, but this guy aced it. No, but this guy. One. No, no. Oh, so I guess that's why he got away with it. This guy aced it. Got a hundred. Really? That's what. That's the funny part. Oh, he that's was No, he had the test beforehand. That's why he had the answers. Bro, I've seen crazy stuff, bro. Back when they used to do like those. But I'm not gonna say so. Whatever. Back when they used to do those like exams, like the the, you know, like the end of year exams. Bro, we were taking like trigonometry or geometry or one of those. Clocked around right in the room. Dude throws a calculator across the room to another kid. It was like one of those graphic ones that have the answers on it. See Cleo Bunny goes, yo! Chucks it across the room. I mean, you see, that's like- That's legendary. That's lead, it was great. There were some crazy kids at that school, man. Like, some people don't care, bro. It's like- What kind of like kid were you like in high school? Um, I was, I was basically the same, just like a little, probably like a little more follower-ish, but still, I was pretty cool. I got along with everybody. Um, just trying to get by, just trying to, I was always trying to just relax, you know what I'm saying? I always say yeah. comfort is like my thing, like I really, I can't, I can't stress, bro. I don't feel like life is a stress. That's why, like, I say I work, but I, I really don't work that hard. A lot of my stuff is like on my laptop, just managing stuff. Sometimes I'll check in on people, but I'm really just trying to, I'm just trying to do it right, bro. Yeah. Like, like I talk about, you know, Bill Zarian. Sorry, that was a really cute kid. No, so, like, you know Dan Bilzerian? Yeah. So, like, whenever you think about him, some people like him, hate him, but I, the guy, I, he's, he understands life setup. He always talks like that, like, he makes, for example, he wanted to just get girls easy, right? So what he did is he invites 100 girls to the party, and he only talks, him and his friends only talk to 10, so the girls that aren't getting talked to fall in his lap. But that's, I'm saying, you're, you're nice, I know, but I'm saying, like, life setup. That's him thinking, like, yo, that's like, I'm trying to make my life as easy as possible. I, don't, I feel like some people are just into money just for money. That's so stupid to me, you know? No, like, I don't know, bro. So people just like, especially in New York, and I love New York, but there are people that just work terrible jobs and make, like, I don't know how people work on Wall Street, bro. Like, my friend told me that, like, he knows people that, like, come home and, and like, go like this because of typing so fast and so much. Like, they start shaking and, bro, come on. The internet changed the game, by the way. I don't know if we talked enough about the internet. Like, oh, for sure. Holy shit, dude. Like, I couldn't do a lot of what I'm doing if not the internet. Bro, the internet is like, every day I wake up on the internet, I'm like, holy shit. I could Google anything. It's sick. I don't know, man. The thing with money for me is like, I just like don't want to put like my kids in the same situation that I was in. So like, for me to like, no, no, yeah. Drop out of school and like just do music full time, like you feel selfish to me. No, no, to see, that's if you want a family, family is really one. I mean, it is maybe selfish in a way because it's for you, but that is a very kind of like selfless thing to me. Like, I don't know if I can have family though. No, be real. I'm so selfish. I don't know if I can have family. But, I don't think for a while though. Like, look when I'm like 30, 30. Yeah, and things could change. I'm not, I never want to be locked into you know a specific uh. You know, viewpoint, but it's what I'm saying. Like, I a family, if you want to have a family, you need money for them. There's no way around it. That's the only way I could justify you working hard. And I don't really, Fair enough. that's it. Otherwise, you're an, an idiot to me. What are you doing it for? Why? Why are you working hard? Yeah, but well, some people take pride in that. That's like a thing, too. Oh, I'm grinding. I'm whew, clocked in. 18. My boy, you're an idiot. How 18, is that being an idiot? 18 hours. No, no, I'm saying like, you're so nice. That's the problem. It's like, there is pride in working hard. But I know you people I guess like say, you're like generally saying working hard. Like, like be more specific. Like, what do you mean? Right. No, no let me get on the like clear. working hard clear. as like a concept is a good, I think is a good thing. Only to me, I don't, I don't think so. I disagree with you. I don't think working hard is a good thing. I think working smart is a good thing. Like, like, why is it better to work 10 hours a day and make 500 bucks a day, let's say? That's like, I guess, a lot for most people. I'm saying we're working two hours a day, making 500 a day. Well, it's not like these are just options. Like, excuse me, sir, would you like to, you know, like it's oh, not. I thought someone was there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, no. So you're saying it's just not practical or pragmatic. I'm, I agree. Well, we're just you. not all in a situation where that's like a possibility. 
obviously, like, I agree with you um, that, like, like having a more like qualitative and quantitative approach to working hard, yeah. like, no doubt, I agree. I think working smart could, in my head, is aligns with working hard. It's a part of it. Um, I get, but maybe not for everyone. But I'm talking about comfort and energy, and I think that there are too many people that take comfort in the fact that they work long hours. I, I never got that. I never, to me, it's how can I make the most money possible with the least effort? Input, output. That's my life, basically. Input, output. Cost, benefit. That's it. Why? 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 I, I guess people take pride in it. I just don't take pride in it. Some people are into that. You know, they into like... I think people take pride in it when they have to do it. Man, it sounds like bullshit. That's the truth. It sounds like bullshit and they try to like rationalize it, mm -hmm. right? Because honestly, it, see, that's the thing. It seems like people are lazy, right? And it seems like people like to be comfortable. But it seems like for money, that goes out the window. And money is the bigger value than comfort. Well, you need the money to be comfortable. I'm not... No, but I'll give you an example. A lot of people I know are, are accountants, right? To me, an account's a tough job. And the pay isn't that crazy. 70, 80K a year, that's good money, but it's not It's not like that much money. It's comfort, yeah. though. It's, it's solid, but like, why not be a postman and make 30, 50 a year? What's, what's the difference in your lifestyle? The postman is so much of an easier job. I always said, if I didn't have money, I would be a postman. Because it's the easiest why? job. It's physical labor. You have to walk out in the snow. That's the snow. We, okay, but like the postman in my account. neighborhood drives a car. Yeah, and then you have to walk out in the snow. No, no, but so. but but if think about this, the account has a boss. He has a cubicle. I'm saying that he also has a boss, but you get to like listen to music and just walk around. You you can be in your own world and just deliver the mail and go home. Where are you living in? Man, you still in Manhattan? In this situation? No, no, no. So I have a spot. It's like it's 30k in Manhattan. Is uh, <laughs> right, right, right. Gonna do it. Okay, no, no. So, but I'm talking about lifestyle-wise. What are you getting from being an accountant that you're not getting from? No, I, I hear where you're going Postman. with this. I mean, what are you I, getting? An extra vacation? Seriously, like, it just, I, don't, I don't understand. It means something to you. That doesn't mean a lot to me. See, that's the thing. I have things. I have a good life. It's not my identity, though. Mm. That's a big thing with people. They, they really. And people are, are, are like really insecure, bro. It's sad. It's, it's kind of sad, bro. It is. It's just, it's just, I don't know about, it's just lame, bro. I just think it's lame. It's super sad. I'm saying my identity is not that I'm, I have like rich or I have these friends, whatever. That's just cool, but it's better. Don't get me wrong, it's better. It's just not all of me, though. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, sure. I feel like a lot of people, a lot of people I know, they're like just losers that made money. It's like, if you took away the money, they're nothing. And, and, but I'm saying, can you name me one thing, a guy who gets, who, an account that makes 70 a year, and a post that works 30, what's the difference in lifestyle? Are they working the same hours? Same hours, but the accountant's working harder, probably. More pressure, well, more numbers. you get to go home at the same time and have the same amount of free time, except one has double the money to play with? No, but the but the labor. I think a lot of people don't look at, at the labor of a job. Postman to me is the easiest job. It's so great. It's not a shout out, Postman. It's a great hustle. It's good. Maybe I mean I've never been a postman, so I don't I can't judge. Um, I'm, I'm saying I might get like, I'm like type that probably wouldn't want to do that because I'm such a sicko. But but I'm mean, saying like, is that is that is that the worst option? But if accounting is easy to you, it may not you know if if like you just click with math, okay, and statistics, it may not actually like. Come but off but I like think this. that's the exception. I I think I honestly but think about this. Why are accountants making more money? Because it is supply and demand, right? So at, it it could be that there's just it's just more of a skill. What are you looking at your phone? My wallet is just gone. Oh, it fell on the ground. Okay, we're good. Just had a mini heart attack yeah, for a second. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry, what were you saying? No, but like where... A lot of people don't look at the, the actual labor of a job. So I'm saying like, if you do accounting, and I guess, I guess, I, so like why are they getting more money? That's the question. It must be either a harder job it or it's a bigger skill. It is both. But let's say, but let's say, that, let's say you're not one of these math guys that it comes easy to you. Because then I hear that, and I like, I like that way of thinking that the comfort is easier for you. Because it's easier for you, then why would you be in the snow? Mm -hmm. But I think for most people, accounting is not easier. It's numbers, it's math. It's but I mean, labor. if you have a degree in accounting, it's probably you're trained. I mean, it's probably good. And also, it's probably but also a job. school though. Schools, you gotta understand that's a little bit of a labor though. Yeah. I know you like school, but school, you gotta put that in there. College four years plus but the that's college why they loan. Get paid more. 
that the college loan to. There's and, a lot of pressure in that. Oh, for sure. And also, there's probably a lot more upward mobility in an account in a, in a business where you're an accountant rather than I don't know what you get promoted to after being yeah. a postman. Um, so it's no, not like, but that's the thing. That's what I love about the internet. You could be a postman, and why can't you do something on the internet too? Get that. Get say that. Same thing about the accountant, though. No, but I think the accountant has more. Has more. I think it's a li more laborious job. I honestly believe that. All right, but. <laughs> Right now, I told you I'm working at a, like I do YouTube and stuff, but I also work for like this twelve hour dollar an hour job. You know what I do on the weekends? Nothing. You know why? Because going out and spending a hundred dollars is a fucking lot of money to me. That's but, the but, difference. But it's because of the college loan, right? No, I'm at County. So it's, why? Oh, it's just it's just in general it is. It's just like you know, like I, I have bills I have to pay every month in my car and whatever. But to and me, like, but to me, I don't know if that's. I think that be. But I'm saying like, okay, you like going out, right? Mm -hmm. What's so bad about just like Netflix in your house? You can't. I mean, most people can afford Netflix. I mean, what's that seems. Oh, like, there's nothing wrong with it. No, see, to me, I. I mean, once again, you're making your calls. Well, we're, well, we're just talking about like what's better. Like, why is that extra work more I valuable? I want what. Oh, so, oh, so that's you're saying that's a lifestyle choice. So I'm saying like your lifestyle when you're earning 150k versus 30k is yeah. you don't have room to be comfortable if you're earning 30k a year. But, but what? Well, actually, give me the list of different lifestyle things. I mean, you're probably gonna be a less comfortable pad. But honestly, what's the average? You earn 150k a year and then just not work for five years and earn as much as the postman. <clears throat> but the lawyer work is so much harder. I, I, I think I don't think people understand that. Like, how do you wake up in the morning and do that? It's just it's too crazy. I, there's some people you, like it. I'm asking you right now. If I give you a million dollars to to carry. Uh, 500 pounds of stuff to Penn Station right now, you'd be like, I can't do it. I physically can't do it. You want to do it, what are you gonna do? You can't carry it. Can I make trips or like? No trips, you gotta go. <laughs> no, because you want to do it. I know you want to do it. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying though? To me, how do you wake up in the morning, go to work, and I, I just can't. I can't do it. No? I can't. See, a lot of people are down to suffer. I don't think I'm down to suffer. It's not always suffering though. Like, I hear what you're saying. Like, it's gotta be something you love, but I like like structure you know like when i wake up and i'm like yo what the fuck am i i have nothing to do today yeah i'm not a fan of that i like yeah i like that i like that too yeah no no i, 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 I like having I, just like like a few days a week like saturday sunday to do that but as far as like every day of my life like having no structure i did that for two years it's like a sad i don't sad like that either to me. i don't yeah. like that either yeah so i got very into mornings too now oh uh, mornings are dope dude i got it with a coffee and, and got uh, i got no because i used to not i used to not like mornings but i used to have to go to like high school I got very in the mornings though. Yeah. Got into it with the coffee and the most eggs. productive time of the day. Oh no, it's, I it's, eat a lot of eggs, dude. Oh, that's the only thing I eat for breakfast. Though. That's every that's day. It. I eat at least two to three eggs for breakfast, and if I'm hungry at night, right back to it. Another like one to two. What eggs. foods are you, are you messing with now? Like, okay, this is another question. Oh, I've been I've been gluten free for like two years. Oh, so you, is that is that pizza or you don't eat pizza? Yeah, I can't eat pizza. Okay. Yeah. Don't I just did it to lose weight, honestly. But oh, you used to be like, you I weren't lost that like big when I met you. Pounds, yeah, you weren't like huge. I'll say this though. Um, pizza or hamburgers? Which would you prefer? I uh, probably pizza. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'll fuck with hamburgers. You I'll fuck tell you the hamburgers. truth. The hamburgers. Why hamburger? Why can't you put some shit on it for this example? Like bacon cheeseburger. Because then that might be some competition. I don't know, but bro. hamburger? Nah, because I'm not. You got ketchup? Is it just like a hamburger with a bun? See, you don't fuck with ketchup. No, ketchup's on it. I don't fuck with ketchup. Look at how little fucking ketchup left. Nah, you cleared that ketchup. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not a little ketchup. That, this was up to here. Uh, Let the camera know. This was up to the top. No, but for real, like. Hamburger's delicious. I didn't, and by the way. I'm a hating on the hamburger. No, no, no. I'm trying to be clear because I like pizza. I'm not sure. No, 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 no. I really sure. like pizza. <laughs> Bro, I'm putting down two to three a night with the pizza when I do it. Putting down the pizza. But hamburgers. I don't know. I had a hamburger. I think it changed my life last year, bro. I'll keep it real. It just changed my whole thing. My whole perspective was Yo, different. Do you fuck with candy corn? Not really. I fuck with candy corn, dude. Not really. I'm I want to for the for like the Halloween feel. Sometimes when I'm in it. I don't know. For the, it's a vibe. I hear you. But I might actually I'm really not into candy. I'm into like all fall shit, like, like you, bro. Give me a fucking pumpkin spice anything. Oh, like, you said fall the season? Yeah, like like bro. fall foods and shit. Bro, September Cider? is my favorite month of year. Ah, dude, it gets fucking crazy. September. You shit. walk into Yankee Candle in October, they have the most fire fucking scents there. Yeah, September October is is that's really what it is for me. 
It's all, and then the winters. It's good for two weeks. The winter. Two yeah. weeks is better. When I was a kid, though, the winter was so tight. You'd be like, yes, I want to sled. <coughs> I want to make a fucking snow angel. How many times did you sled? I've sled a few times. Oh well, I live in Jersey, so it's different. Like, Wait, so it's, it's a culture over there. I I just feel like there's more. Like, where the fuck are you gonna sled here? Right. Like, maybe no, I'm talking about Park, like. I don't... At that time, I was living in Queens. Okay, yeah. So there was more. <clears throat> I only did it once. There was like this hill, and we did it. Yeah. It was, it's fun, bro. I'll keep it real. Snow is... But honestly, LA is kind of like... I think I really want to... I can't go full-time. New York is where the heart's at. It's where the heart is. It's where the, you know, in the big paper, those meetings when I got to put on the suit and gel the hair and do all that. Yeah. Go like full Sam Rothstein, like, you know, but... Um, man, weather. Miami. Miami. You gotta go to Miami. Honestly, bro, you gotta go to Miami. Bro, my but, brother lives in San Diego. It is like... I heard about. I heard stories about San Diego. It's just the most disgustingly beautiful surfing. weather. Surfing. You're into surfing. I've never surfed. I yeah, like yeah. a skateboard. That's I would like skateboard. I can't like... get hurt though. I would skateboard. Surfing. No, I don't surf either. But I'm saying like the EC. San Diego EC is like perfect weather. Oh, you're not. Yeah. I, I might have to go there. I, there's, a, there's a couple things I gotta do. There's a couple things I gotta yeah. do. But I'm gonna go to Australia really bad. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like overseas places because I've been around a lot. Like. You see it once, I'm kind of done with it. There's not so many places I go back to, really. America is a pro. America. Can we get into how great America is in this country? Oh, you said you've never been you never been outside of America? I've been in Toronto. I like Canada, by the way. People hate on Canada. Canada is dope. Canada's Yo, I'm nice. going to tell you right now, though. Tim Hortons is fucking whack. I was there a couple of times. Yeah. I did not. And, you know, it's not Starbucks. Don't don't is, play yourself. Uh, don't don't do play not yourself. Not like, play it's yourself. not Starbucks. It's not even Dunkin'. Like, yeah. How can those is low, by the way? But yo, all my friends from Canada were hyping it the fuck out. I think that had something to do with it psychologically. They have Tim Hortons in Buffalo, too. Yeah? Just like, they have it in Buffalo. Um, but, bro, America is unbelievable. I mean, it's not perfect, but Starbucks, New York City, LA, Miami, celebrity culture. What else? Football, Americano. It's another one. What, what else? There's, there's, there's got to be other great things about America. Basically, free, free market. Basically, like, I could have been born anywhere. I could have been born in some communist Bro, place. I talk to people about this all the time. Like, we, you, yeah, we have problems, but we're very, very lucky to have been born here. Bro, I was in Israel. And people really take it for granted. I was in Israel. I was in Tel Aviv in the hood for a couple weeks just to get. I think like, I like to hit the streets once in a while. Bro, people were out there riding around, no seats on the bikes, like, it's hot, the 110, people were still, like, I don't even think people had, like, washing machines, bro. They were, like, they had the lines in the back, like, when you're in, like, Sleepaway Camp. Like, it's yeah. not, it's like, we have it so good, bro. And that's why I don't take these for granted. That's why I'm always, like, kind of happy. It's like, how can you, like, you're kind of a dick. Like, if, if you don't, don't, like. choose where you're born, you'd have been born in Syria. No, no, that's what I'm saying. I got lucky. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't get too cocky about things. It's like. I just got lucky, bro. I could've been born even 100 years ago. 100 years ago wasn't popular. I love anywhere. I know? love the question, like, would you rather be, like, uh, a king in the 1700s or just an average middle-class American today? Like, yeah, king, king, though. King's got it, though. No, because kings were popular. Bro, think how long it would take to get somewhere. Like, to go to another state. Where do you gotta go, though? You're the king. You're sitting there, you got the girls, like, you got the think money. Think like, the quality of life. Like, we eat better every day. Is that right? Well, yeah, because they couldn't heat anything up. That was, nah, fuck it. So I'm saying, like, they had Bro, no modern technology. Like, we got microwaves, we got steaks, we got it all, like. <laughs> trying to communicate with someone who's not right next to you, send a letter, just takes, nah, like, nah. weeks to get there I'm not back. doing the three-week boat travel either. I'm <laughs> yeah, not right. doing that. All right, I'll see you in three weeks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, right? nah. Bro, time, another thing about it, time is long as hell. Still like, I'm saying, sometimes it goes quick, and you're like, oh, okay, but, like, two weeks ago, it's, like, like it's, that feels like two weeks ago. Like that's that's like I don't know, bro. Time is like to me kind of long. I think people kind of. I think when a lot of people say like time is so quick, it's because they isolate the two moments. So if I if we think about like okay, like we met let's say 2013, right? Maybe like 2014, whatever. If we if we like just think this day, if we think like this day to 2014, then it's just two days. So you don't really think about everything that happened. But bro, a lot of stuff has happened since 2013. Like, let's keep it real. There's a lot bro, of I've, stuff. I've done like such a 180 since then. Like, I'm like a. You were like a different, different dude. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. 